Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create effect slots for plugins in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is to create slots for effects on tracks to make it easier to work with them or organize them. But keep in mind, you don't have to do this. This is just an option for convenience. So let's take a look at how Reaper handles the order of plugins. Let's create a new track, go to our effects, let's go to my favorites, and let's add all these plugins. Let's duplicate the volume adjustment, copy and paste, because I want to put one at the beginning and the end. Then I want to go to my gate, my compressor, and my EQ. This is how I typically work with all these plugins in these slots. And we can see them over here on the track by going to the options menu and turning on show effects, inserts, and track control panel. So when this is on, we see our effects slots over here. But if we duplicate this track a few times, copy and paste, and let's go to our mixer. Notice how organized it looks. Right now, with every plugin in the same slot. But if I didn't want to use my gate on this track, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to delete it, it changes the order of our slots. The volume adjustment is in the fifth slot over here, but the fourth one over here. And if I wanted to delete my compressor over here and my gate, it throws the alignment off. As my EQ is in the third slot here, the second slot here, and the fourth slot here. And like I said, if you don't mind this, we could leave it like this. But if you want to keep it nice and organized, let's create some dummy slots. So let's start over with a new track, go to our effects, and let's add a dummy plugin to use to hold our slots. You can really use any plugin you want, but I prefer MIDI Transpose right over here because it doesn't use much DSP and it's not going to change our sound. Then we'll go up here and right click and rename the effects instance. I like to name it with dashes, although you can call it blank slot or anything you want. Then we'll copy and paste this as many times as you want. And that creates five empty slots. What we could also do is set up certain plugins to be in certain slots. Like for instance, let's say you like to use the volume adjuster. Let's delete two of these slots and let's add the volume adjustment, copy and paste it. So we have two of them, one before and one after. And let's rename this one pre effects volume and name this one post effects volume. With this one coming before these three slots and this one coming after. I'm going to reset this to be 0 dB so it starts out not changing the sound. Although, if you want to create some headroom, you could lower this as your default. But I'm going to keep it at zero. So now we set up two volume plugins, and three dummy effect slots. And like I said, you can just create all dummy slots or choose certain plugins you're always going to use in that slot, like gate, EQ, or compression. Let's just use this, for example. Then we can right click down here, go to effects chains, and choose save all effects as default chain for new tracks. So now, Every time we create a new track, right click, let's create a few, like three. It creates those tracks with those effects already on it. Leaving the dummy slots along with the volume plugins we set up. So now if we go to the mixer, notice how organized it looks with every plugin in the same slot. And now if we want to add 
our own effects for each track, we could do it the regular way by going to the effects button and just adding them from here. Let's say we wanted to add a gate, but then we have to drag it up and put it where we want it and then delete this slot to keep them more organized. But the better way to work with these slots is to do it this way. Let's undo this and instead just open up the effects browser, shift F and choose the plugin you want to add. I'm going to choose the gate and just drag it to the slot we want it to be in. So for this track, I'll put it right here, drag and drop it. And now it's in slot two, but that also creates another slot. So we can just delete this one, alt on the PC, option on the Mac to keep it organized. So now if we go to our mixer, everything is still perfectly organized in slots. They still line up exactly. And we can add plugins from here as well. Hit Shift F, choose a plugin we want. Let's choose a compressor and drag this in to the third slot. Again, it adds an extra slot. Just delete it and it keeps it nice and organized. Let's add an EQ to this track. Shift F, drag and drop it to the fourth slot, delete this dummy plugin, and it stays perfectly organized, which not only looks nice and neat, but we can write scripts or special actions to go with this. Let's say you installed the SWS extensions. Let's open the actions menu and search SWS toggle bypass. And these actions show up that we can use based on slots. So for example, if we select all these tracks and toggle the bypass for effects one and trigger it, it's going to bypass just slot one on those tracks, which is much more useful if it's all lined up. Toggle it again to turn them back on. And if we want to bypass all gates, choose this one and it just bypasses the second slot. Unbypass, do the same with our compressors, our EQ, and the post effects volume. So it's great for troubleshooting. We put the same effects in each slot. And it's much harder to do if we have different effects in each slot. It's a bit more work, but it's worth it if we use scripts or these specific actions, or just to keep things more organized. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create effect slots for plugins in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.